White line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Trap line sitting on a pipeline waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree, and today we got a neat show for y'all. We're at the Galvez Hardware Store with a third annual Black Iron Pot Cook-Off. Biggest ever. We got 18 cooks. We have the Kindler Brothers playing music. We have the Taster's Choice this year, and we have the decorated tents. So let's see who cooks the best black iron pot recipe. And Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all made it to the first cooks. Let's get their names and where they're from. Caleb Blunt, Sanimal. McCall Bro, Sanimal. Cade Blunt, Sanimal. All right, man, what y'all cooking today? Oh, uh, pork tenderloin. Smothered in some lobster cream sauce. Wow, that sounds good, bro. Now, y'all won the first annual cook-off cooking smothered potatoes. Yes, sir. Y'all won money. Y'all yes, spend sir. that money wisely? No. No, <laughs> probably not, huh? Probably not. Well, I'm going to tell you what. While y'all uh, getting things going, I don't want to stop y'all from cooking. I know it's crucial time right now. I'm going to wish y'all good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank y'all. All right, y'all. got another cook. Let's get his name and where he's from. Uh, Joey Laborde, Prairieville, Louisiana. What you cooking, Joe? Uh, give me some pork chops and gravy, something traditional. Yes, indeed. You know? I love that. Oh, yeah. It's simple. You know, just cook it a long time. Let the meat get tender. And then add you a couple of cans of cream of mushroom, cream of celery. Thicken your gravy up and just put it over a bed of rice, you know, and just eat till you're content. you making me hungry talking, y'all. All right, we're going to let you get back to it. Thank you, Rodney. All right, y'all. got another team. Let's get their names and where they from. I'm Justin Wilson. I'm from Paulina, Louisiana, making a turtle sauce pecan. Yes, indeed. I'm Nikki Amy from Laplace, and I have a son, Elias. He's from Laplace, but he's not here right now. And that's my little Hi, I'm Noah. I'm Chad Amy, owner of Red Claw Seasonings. We're going to take this competition with some turtle sauce pecan today. I'm Chase Loop. I'm from Gonzales, Louisiana, representing the Team Red Claw. Yeah. I'm Megan Wilson from Prairieville, Louisiana, here just yes, representing. That's right. James Hoppy from Prairieville, representing Team Red Claw. Gloria Dalgo Gonzalez. I'm Matt Dubonica from Laplace, Louisiana, and I'm the last, you know, last in the um, last part of the team. That's right. Go, All right, bro. Any secrets on this? No. Throw it in the pot and let it do its thing. All right, I'm gonna let y'all get back to work. All right. All right, bro. What we got going? Where we at? We got some uh, sauce pecan going. It's pretty much ready. Just cooking it down. You know, the longer it cooks, the better it gets. Yeah, yeah. It always takes a good 12 pack to cook sauce pecan. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I don't know. A 12 pack will mess it up though. You got both? Sauce oh. pecan both? Well, no. I had a, I cooked the sauce pecan in this and I had my meat going in that one. Oh, but, okay. Yeah, just okay. A, so you right there ready. You oh, ready yeah. for some judging. Ready to go. Ready to go. All right, bro. We're going to check back with you. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. We got another cook. Let's get his name and where he's from. My name's Huey Jacob from Gonzales. I'm cooking Cajun Tostadas, sponsored by Fred's Amusements. Yes, indeed. Now, what expired y'all for this, uh, this, this recipe? I just like cooking it. Gotcha, gotcha. Any and secrets really to good. it? They're, they're really good? good. I can't wait to taste that. Yeah, put a little Cajun twist in some Mexican food. I don't want to hold you up, so good luck. All right, Huey, y'all right on time? Yeah, we right on time, cutting up all our condiments right now. I see her. She got fresh tomatoes cutting here. Fresh tomatoes. Yes, we got indeed. Onion here. We got lettuce we hadn't cut yet. All right. You, and your, uh, what you call it, the, the, the is, sauce? This is Cajun tostada mix. Chili. Gotcha. Gotcha. You call it. Beans. I seen you uh, yeah. putting some there, secret there, ingredient. Oh, bean. that looks good, bro. There's bean in it, but I ain't going to give you all of my ingredients. Gotcha. <laughs> so you're on time, though. You're ready. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're ready. We could we could start serving now. Cool, man. We're going to check back. Except my help was kind of slow with the knife. Over there. Well, you don't want to cut a finger or nothing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, we want to be safe. Well, good luck. Thanks. All right, y'all got some more cooks. Let's get their names and where they from. 
Uh, how y'all doing? I'm Paul from Sandy Ridge from Port Vincent, Louisiana. Greg from Port Vincent. What y'all cooking, man? Oh, uh, chicken and dumplings, what? Cajun style. Yes, indeed. <laughs> now, what inspired you to cook that? Uh, well, I was on the, on the fence of doing a little chicken stew or this, that, and the other. And he come up, Greg come up, I said, bro, let's just, just do something simple, some chicken and dumplings. I said, bingo. All right, I'm going to let y'all get back to it. Good luck. All right, bro, how's it going? We're doing good. We got everything in. That looks we're good. We're the dumplings to cook. The dumplings need a few more minutes. Uh -huh. Got the little biscuits in there to put on top. Yeah. And uh, we had a little chicken, uh, Cajun style chicken and dumplings. Man, that smells awesome, man. <laughs> So you're gonna have the biscuits for the presentation oh, and the yeah, biscuits. Oh yeah, put it in a bowl. Throw a couple little biscuits, little tea biscuits on top, nice and golden brown. Gotcha, man. That must. Have, that's, that's a roux in there? No roux. No roux. No roux. They're just the, uh, the, the flour off the uh, off the chicken. Dumplings off the dumplings makes it thicken up. And it stuff. smells really, really great, man. I think you got some. I think that's a top five. Oh it, no, it's got to be above. I got to be in it, be above three. I've always won third. I got to get two or better this year. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to check back with you. All right, y'all. We got another cook. Let's get his name and where he's from. Name is uh, Kevin Bush, and I'm from uh, Prairie View, Louisiana. What you cooking, Kevin? We're cooking uh, deer sausage and pork pasta lye. Oh, man. That's good. I know you cook a mean pasta lye. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the East Prairie View pasta lye king. Yes, indeed. <laughs> now, what makes yours a little different? Huh? What makes it a little different? Love. Than the, got love in it. <laughs> it's got love in it. Cool, bro. Well, good luck. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. It looks like we got it finished. That looks good, bro. It smells. Oh, when you lifted that lid, them smells come out of there. Yeah. Heavy smoke on a sausage. Gotcha. That's the key to good food. Yeah. A good fossil eye anyway. Them noodles will soak that smoke up. Oh, yeah. Hey, bro. Good luck. Thank you. All right, y'all got another cook. Let's get his name and where he's from. Uh, Robbie McGee, Prairieville. All right, what you cooking today? I'm doing it. It's a sweet Italian sausage with mandan doing uh, with a five cheese tortellini. Wow, wow. Now, where does this recipe come from? Uh, I actually just thought of it. Gotcha. I like tortellini and I like sweet Italian sausage, and our andouille is the best. So I just thought I'd uh, put it. It sounds two good. You got my mouth watering doing that. Well, good <laughs> luck to you, bro. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. All right. All right, bro. Man, that looks. That looks really, really good. Thank you, man. Thank you. I heard the judges uh, talking it up in there on that one. Yeah, well, um, I think the, the andouille and the, and the sweet Italian sausage, it's got a little sweetness to it. It's got a little heat to it um, with the rotel. It's got a lot of bell pepper in it. So and many we, flavors going on, you don't know what to do. I tell you what, it, it, it's a splash in your mouth now. It's a good time. It's a festival. That'll soak up some cold beer, too. Well, I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck, bro. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. All right, y'all got another one. Let's get his name and where he's from. Patrick Yarbrough from Baton Rouge. I'm cooking Gritzelaya. Gritzelaya. Now, where does that come from? Where do you? Where does that? That was a invention of our own. You know, we needed something to eat in the mornings while we're cooking jambalaya for the afternoon. So that's how it came about. Gritzelaya. Gritzelaya. All right, bro. Good luck. Thank you. All right, y'all. He's in here serving it up. What's the name of this one again? Gritzelaya. Gritzelaya. Well, that's really unique. I think that's something the judges are really going to dig. All right. Uh, you were saying the history goes back because uh, in the morning you needed something to eat. That's so right. That's right. When you're when you're cooking all day and you got jambalaya not going to be ready until 2 or 3 in the afternoon, you need something in the morning to eat. Yes, indeed. So you cook this in the morning for all the cooks, and that's how it became. And all the grits soak up the beer from the night before. That's right. That's right. There's always a remedy to something. You're absolutely right. Well, it, soaks good. Up, it soaks up the beer you're going to drink that day, too. Yeah. I don't believe you. What a nice day. It's beautiful out here. Man, it's nice. It's only about 83 degrees out here, y'all. Really nice. Well, I'm going to say good luck. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. got another cook. Let's get his name and where he's from. Uh, my name is Russell Bonowitz, and I'm from Port Vincent. All right. Now, what you cooking today? I'm cooking jambalaya, old mama's recipe. We call it your mama and jambalaya. Yes, indeed. So it's kind of uh, shooting uh, thanks out to mom. That's right. That's right. It's a good old backyard jambalaya. Well, That's why we got our picnic set up here. Well, cool, man. Well, good luck to y'all. Thank you for having us. All right. All right. All right, y'all got another cook. Let's get his name and where he's from. Kyle Blanchard, Pia Park, Louisiana. Travis Acosta, Gonzalez, Louisiana. What you cooking, Kyle? Oh, I got shrimp pasta. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah, it's a recipe that my dad makes. It's really good. Gotcha. You going to have some Blanchard's blend in there? Oh, got to have that, dude. You, you can't cook without that. <laughs> well, I tell you what, uh, we got a good crowd today. Yeah. Hopefully we do good in it. Stiff competition. Oh, definitely. Well, cool. Good luck to you. 
The chill's in the air. It's football season. You know what that means here at River Rats. It's time for the second annual Dreams Come True Foundation Gumbo and Potato Salad Cook-Off, December 12th. Get ready. I've already heard from Roddy. He is ready to defend his title. That's right, y'all. You heard it right. That's Saturday, December 12th. Rowdy Duhon's going to defend his title. The gumbo entry is $50. The potato salad entry is $50. Ladies, you cook p potato salad every weekend anyway, so why don't you just bring it on out and let us enjoy some too. You know, Dreams Come True started here in Livingston Parish, and uh, they provide 65 to 70 dreams a year for critically ill children, and we like to do our part to, um, to try and help out as many of those families as we can. River Rats Bar and Grill, an oasis on the A Meat River, located in French Settlement off Highway 16. Hashtag best place to eat and party. With amazingly delicious original and traditional food. Indoor and outdoor seating with a friendly and entertaining staff. Open seven days a week with happy hour Monday through Friday and game day specials. So come by car, bike, or boat. You won't forget the fun times you've had at River Rats Bar and Grill. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp, tailgating, or planning dinner. We make our own cracklings, beef jerky, whole cut cheese, and sausage right here in the store. We also process deer and hogs. Junior's Meat Market has an abundance of groceries and frozen items which include crab cakes, fried oysters, tilapia, and more. We have daily meat specials and we cook plate lunches every other weekend. Stop by Junior's Meat Market today and bring home dinner. Miss D's Sweet Sensations is a wholesale sweet shop located in Santa Mar, Louisiana. The business is locally owned and operated by Diane Bro, now with 12 delicious varieties to choose from. You can find Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations in all of your local supermarkets and convenience stores. Made fresh daily by six full-time employees, right here in Ascension Parish. Hey store owners, restaurants, and caterers, if you're not selling Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations, you're not selling the best product on the market. My name is Mac Edmonston. Ascension Parish is my home. I've lived here all my life. Most people know me as Rooster Lips, a nickname, but also the name of the business I own and operate here in Ascension Parish. I've made a reputation for myself by working hard. I work like you. I think like you. I look like you. I can represent you, the people of District 7, and we together can make a difference. I'm asking for your vote. Mac Rooster Lips Edmonston, number 80. Early voting is November 7th through the 14th. Please get out and vote. Welcome back. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, I got some more cooks. Let's get their names and where they're from. Emily Bursa Jane. Richard Bursa J. We're from uh, Diversion Canal, River Highland area. All right. What y'all cooking today? We are doing uh, Creole shrimp and sausage, uh, jambalaya. jambalaya. Now, what red inspired? Gravy. Oh, with a red gravy. Yeah. Gotcha. Red gravy, yeah. That's the French settlement style. I guess. That, yeah. Or the New Orleans like, style. Yeah. That's what we like to call it. I, yeah. I guess. Uh, what inspired that? What made you cook that over everything else? Me. You? <laughs> oh, good, good, good. That's, that wasn't a hard choice. You're right. So you got to listen to the wife, you know? Awesome. Well, good luck to y'all. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, y'all got some more cooks. Let's get their names and where they're from. I'm Heloise Revere from Baton Rouge. I'm Linda Wood. I live here in Prairieville. Dent Wood, Prairieville. All right, Linda, what y'all cooking today? We are frying catfish, and we are also cooking a uh, grit in a heavy cream sauce with shrimp. Woo-wee! That sounds good, y'all. Now, what inspired that? What inspired that? What inspired you to cook this meal? He inspired me. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> so he's loving your fish, then? I think he likes the fish and the uh, creamy grits with All shrimp. All right. Well, cool. I'm going to let y'all get back to it. Thank y'all. Okay, thank you. I see you got a hit over here on the end. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. Now the grits is really unique. Uh, that's yes, it was kind of um, a cream sauce that turned into a grits, so now it's a grits and cream sauce. Grits and cream, grits and you and can't cream. beat it with fish. 
right? It's got what a lot you? of fresh herbs in it, garlic, um, secret seasonings, and shrimp. I heard the judge talking it up in there. Oh, good. You might have something here. Then I'm hopeful. Well, good luck. Thank you. All right, man, getting it turned in. Woo, that looks good. How you feeling? I feel about four beers in. All right. I feel great. <laughs> good luck. Appreciate it. All right. Ooh, that looks like some good stuff right there. Cheesy shrimp grits. That looks good. That looks really good, y'all. I think you got something there. Oh, I hope so. Good luck to you. Thank you. Whoa. Wow. How you feeling? One to ten. Really good. 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 I'm My loving first it. First time from Minnesota, so. All right. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Looks awesome. Thank you. All right, AP. Man, that's nice. I can smell that. The wind's hitting on me right there. How you feeling? It tastes is good. It does? Yeah. Very good. One to ten? Nine. Nine? Nah. Yeah. All right, bro. Good luck. All right, bro. Wow. Nice looking, bro. How you feeling, one to ten? Oh, that's great, man. Can't you got do, it. Can't do no better. Like the other guy, 12? That's it. That's it. Awesome. Well, good luck. All right. Oh wow, that looks good. That looks good. Y'all feeling all right about it? Feeling good? Yes, feeling sir. good? One to ten? Uh, ten? Ten. All right. Good luck. All right, fellas. Wow. Wow, I smell that. That's really, really good looking. How y'all feeling about it? Good. good. Out of one, one out of ten. I'm on eleven point five. No, eleven point five. Fifteen. And if you add them together, that's like. 30 something oh, yeah. or something, oh, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, good luck to y'all. Thank you, thank you. Did you set them down? Yep. All right, here we go. We got to look under this cover. Here we go. Woo! Man, that's all I can say about that. How you feeling one to ten on that? Pretty good. It's good. That's a round of ten. Yeah. Awesome, nine, awesome. Nine, good luck to you. Nine and a half. Covered them Take them too. All right, bro. Getting it turned in. Wow. That looks really, really nice. How you feeling about it? I feel real good about it. What um, you thinking? One I to tell ten? You what, that one to ten, I'd say every bit of 11. Wow. Well, good luck to you. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. That's what number it was. Oh, wow. All right, bro. Turning them in. How you feeling? Uh, I feel okay. Yeah, I think the last year might have been a little bit better than this one, but uh, we'll see. Okay, well, good luck to you. Thank you so much. Good for the first time I tried it, so it looks awesome. Hopefully, it's good. Um, you know, Creole sausage and shrimp. So hopefully, I'm, everybody likes it. I'm, I'm not a judge, but I would give that a ten on presentation, right, and it really looks good. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you a lot. All right, y'all. This is the calm before the storm. We got the judges here. They got a hard job ahead of them. Let's get their names and where they're from. Hello, how you doing? My name is Katie Nicole and I'm from St. James Parish, Louisiana. Hi, I'm Cheryl Babin from Gonzales, Louisiana. Luis Ramo, Gonzales, Blue Runner Foods. Hi, I'm Linda Lee and I'm from Gonzales. We know who this is. Yeah, Roland Duce, I'm from Santa Monica, but uh, from 100.7. I'm Haley Bolton and I'm from Hammond, Louisiana and from Rebath, South Louisiana. Everybody knows her from Rebath. Yeah. All right, y'all. Y'all got y'all work cut out for y'all. Food's fixing to come in. And so may the best black pot recipe win. Well, Roland, got your work cut out for you? You better believe it. I hadn't tasted anything bad yet. This is our fourth one, and I'd eat any of them. Wow. I mean, that, that's, that's some good that's cooks out there. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting them. Gotcha. Uh, I see that meat's real tender. She's cutting it with a spoon. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, I just used it for a serving oh, thing. Okay. Well, how's it going? It's everything's delicious. Is it? Is yes. it? Well, awesome. Uh, after 18, I'm gonna after y'all taste 18 different mm -hmm. dishes, then we'll see how y'all feel. Bring the wheelbarrow. Yeah, because I'm gonna <laughs> roll y'all out of here. Yeah, you're right. We'll get Cindy to roll y'all out. Hey, I'm going home to the Lord my shotgun We by the door and light a cigarette He wants to bow well now he's got one He ain't seen me crazy, yeah Slap my face and he shoot me like a red gun Don't that sound like a real man I'm gonna show him what a little girls are made of Gunpowder and land It's half past 
past him Another six back in I can feel the cold rumble like a cold black wind He pulls in the drive Gravel flies He don't know it's waiting here this time Hey, I'm going home, going on my shotgun We by the door and find a cigarette He wants to buy well now We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. Hell in the Wall Seafood and Cajun Meats now has more to offer. The same high-quality seafood, live and bald crawfish, crabs, sack oysters, frog legs, shrimp, gator meat, gore balls, and local catfish, just to name a few, now selling your favorite smokehouse products. Homemade sausage and andouille, beef jerky, stuffed pork chops and chickens, fried boudin balls, cracklings, and much more. Now processing your deer and hogs. And come check out our new seating area. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life-threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Gavis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week, cooking demos on Saturdays, and customer service that will help you get the job done. RP Custom Trailers and Service is a fully stocked store for RV parts and accessories. With essentials such as tank treatments, hoses, lenses, vents, power cords, clean supplies, and everything else your camper may need. Known for customized living quarters and horse trailers for over 18 years. We now specialize in RV insurance work. Talk to Ryan about how to prevent blowouts and oh yes, that leaky vinyl or rubber roof can be inspected and repaired also. Call or come by and see it all at RP Custom Trailers. My name is Mac Edmonston. I've been a business owner in Ascension Parish for over 22 years. I'm a Republican, a family man, and a conservative. I'm a team builder, and I work well with others. I'm a lifelong resident of Ascension Parish. Roads, sewer, and recreation are my highest priority. I am for planning and prioritizing the budget. I am for building a better Ascension Parish for our children and our grandchildren. I am Mac Roosterlips Edmiston, number 80. I am asking you for your vote. Together, we can make a difference. So please, get out and vote. The future of Ascension Paris depends on it. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all, it's time for the awards. Y'all gather around. Woo I'd like to thank everybody for coming out here, folks. Y'all give all these cooks a big hand. Good judges. I want to thank Galvis Hardware for hosting this, too. Judges. I want to thank the band for coming out. The Kindler Brothers rocking it, y'all. I want to thank all the judges. I had six really good judges. I want to thank them. They all probably taking a nap now from eating all that. Cheryl. Cheryl Lewis. All right, y'all. First thing we're going to do is taster's choice. Now, this wasn't by the judges. This was voted on by the people that come around and got your food. So that goes by your booth number. So the booth number for Taster's Choice for our first award is booth number five. Oh, that's that sombrero crew over there. Would y'all like to say something? Y'all got a fancy paddle? Awesome. Awesome. What can y'all say to the public out there winning the Taster's Choice? Thank y'all very much. Yeah. Glad y'all enjoyed it. All right, our next award is going to be the best booth, best decorated booth. 
that was done by the judges also. Uh, the best booth is uh, it's a hundred dollar bill, and it's booth number twelve. Is there anything you'd like to say? To Thank you. Thank y'all. <laughs> All right, we're moving into the food now. We're moving into the big stuff. We're going to fifth place. Get your tickets out, cooks. Fifth place, ticket number 202. Ticket 202. Congratulations. Thank you. Anything you'd like to say? No, very fun event. Thank y'all for hosting. Good job. What'd you cook? Grits a lie. Grits a lie. Y'all give him a big hand. All right, y'all, fourth place. Ticket number 201. Look at here. Anything you'd like to say out there to all these folks? I'd like to thank you, Mom and them. Thank you, Mom and them. Give them a big hand, y'all. All right, y'all, third place. Ticket number 205. Anything you'd like to say out there to those folks? Very good time. Thank you, everybody. Nice show up. Give them a big hand, y'all. All right, second place. It's ticket number 197. Woo! Look at here. Congratulations. What'd you cook? I cooked the creamy, cheesy grits with shrimp. Rod Catfish. Congratulations. Y'all give her a big hand. All right. This one's for all the marbles now. First place. Ticket number two, zero, zero. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, it's Carl Blanchard. Congratulations, man. What'd you cook? I cooked shrimp pasta. Shrimp pasta? Yeah. yeah. Made my daddy. Awesome, man. Congratulations. All right, y'all. Thank everybody for coming out here. We got the winners right here. We got lined up. Congratulations to all of y'all. Kyle, come out first. We got second place right here. Thank you. you seem to always win in third. I'm always in third, baby. I can't get out of third. Congratulations on the fourth, Appreciate man. It. Appreciate it. Good job, bro. Y'all did good. Thank you very Huey, much. Huey, taster's choice. That means a lot, brother. Yeah, it does. Hey, next year, y'all come back and defend these titles. It's the Black Iron Pot Cook-Off, y'all. That's the cooks right here that did it. <laughs> yeah! All right, y'all. We had a great day at the third annual Black Iron Pot Cook-Off here at the Galvez Hardware Store. We got the best tent right here behind me. We had the Taster's Choice winners. We had the five best cooks out here, y'all. What a good day. And thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking.